when I went back to Montreal and then moved to Ottawa, it was like, oh, no, this is not me. So as soon as I discovered this place, I, I wanted to move here. It's a place to come back running like a horse running back to the barn after working in the city or traveling for work or conferences. It keeps me sane. I cannot remember a time when I wasn't doing something or making something up or wondering how something was put together. I think my earliest thing was stringing shoe boxes together and taking my stuffed animals on train trips around the house and describing the various places we were visiting. I can say that I started in drawing or maybe watercolor, which is basically just the beginning of learning a language because art is a communication device. Whatever material gets the job done becomes part of the language that's expressing the concept or the theme. I aim to work with a community or a group so that I can understand collaboration, understand more about how society works, and express what needs to be expressed on much larger levels. So I see myself only as a player on a kind of team that values creativity but it isn't just about the artists it's about the willingness of the non-artists to be close to the artists or to the motive and the questions that art elevates i think people who live in a small town or in a region like this people who live in the outskirts are kind of chance takers anyways so, you know, maybe they don't mind living at the end of that road where it doesn't always get plowed. The same quality of dealing with uncertainty is a kind of resilience. And so they're ready to engage when there's an invitation. Society knows that if they don't have artists, especially at this pandemic time, what a drag it is to be around in an uncreative world. I know from my work and from all my projects throughout my career, the kind of mental wellness that comes from doing art, helping people to find their own aha moments and their capacities for creative thought. One of the saddest things for me is parents who uh, deflect their children's desires to work with their creative skill sets. Look what my kid did, look what my kid did. What is this thing about Sylvia? Why are you doing this? This is about this. It's like, that's not what becoming an artist is about. Becoming an artist is like recognizing what ideas have resonance and then recognizing what the resonance is and then how you can manipulate that. If I had to hand down some word of wisdom to a younger person, actually I say this whenever I teach in elementary schools, your ideas are your own. They are private. You do not have to show your stuff to your parents or your peers or your brothers and sisters. Start filing system. Keep them in a file because lots of times you get ideas before you're ready to understand what they're about or before you have the tools to express them. So get envelopes or paper bags or a drawer or a part of your closet and keep your stuff and review it every once in a while.